mean everything to me because I know you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. And I called on the Lord. I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. And they doing it. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Black man, if you weren't knowing what's going on, the good news is we're here to tell you what's going on. Yes, that we have the breakdown and the understanding of exactly what's going on. We know why BRICS is here. We know why America is about to go to war. We can tell you why the situations that are happening are happening. You understand me? Famine is on its way. Yeah, it is. War is on its way. You know what I mean? Give me Jeremiah chapter 29. You understand? All these things are going to happen. But here's the good news, black man, this black man, and woman, it's over you. That's what it's about. America's going to war because of you, black man, this black man, Native American Indian man. Ukraine is at war right now. You think it has nothing to do with you because you're so small. We're going to find out what all these things is about. Give me Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 4. Come on, come on. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 4. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that carry away captive. Unto who? Unto Israel. Salakim. The Lord of hosts. The God of Israel, unto all that ca are carried away captive. God is speaking to all, to all who have been carried away captive on the earth, man. That's you, black man. That's you, black woman. Or to all who have been carried away captive. Go ahead. Whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. You've been taken from your home, Jerusalem. That's where you're from. I mean, if you ever wonder where you're from, you're not from Alabama. You're not from Louisiana. You're not from the South. You're from Jerusalem, black man. Right. And the Lord allows you to be carried away to Babylon. Today, America is called Babylon the Great. Right. You know what I mean? America is called Babylon the Great, and you've been carried away captive there. Skip to verse 8. Come on, come on. Verse 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, let not your prophets and your div diviners that be in the midst of you. Come on, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, let not your prophets and your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you. Do not let your Christian pastors lie to you. That's what he's saying. Do not let your pastors lie to you and deceive you. I mean, to try to trick you to join this place. This place is about to burn, man. This place is about to burn. You know what's going to burn over? Over you. Over the abuse that was done to you, black man. This black man. The Lord's not going to let it slide. All this stuff you see happen. I know it sounds crazy. You think the World War III about to happen. You think it's going to happen over bricks. You think it's going to happen over money. No, let me tell you what's really happening. Amer America's youth has, be has become null and void now. America's only here to punish us for our disobedience to God. Now, America's about to be cast away like a whore. You ever seen a whore being cast away or put, put away after she was used? It's disgraceful. Well, America's getting ready to be disgraced on the world scene. You know what I mean? They, they're about to lose all their power, all their might. You know what I mean? Keep reading. Come on, come Neither hearken to your dreams, which ye caused you cause to be dreams. Stop dreaming right now, black man. That dream Martin Luther King gave you is a lie. You know what I mean? Stop dreaming right now. Read that again. Come on, come on. Neither hearken to your dream. Don't hearken me. Don't hold on to that dream. Y'all had that six, 60th anniversary Martin Luther King nonsense last week. Don't hold on to that dream, man. 60 years you trying to join the nation? 60 years you, Imagine, imagine, like sisters, if you like your brother, you chasing for 60 years? 
Brother, you like a sister. You chased her for 60 years. It's time to give up that dream, man. It's time to give up that dream. You're a punk, man. You're a clown. The person who's chasing you is la who you're chasing is laughing at you. There's no honor in chasing a dream for 60 years, man. At what point did you say you failed? At what point did you say, you know what? Back to the drawing board. This dream is not working. Read again. Shavukan, neither hearken to your dreams, which ye cause to be dreamed. Stop dreaming, man. Keep reading. For they prophecy sluck. For they prophecy falsely unto you in my name. They prophesy falsely unto you in my name. Every religion has been prophesying a dream to you, man. Every religion has been promising you something, black man. Let me tell you something else. We are the most spread out people when it comes to religion. You find black people in every religion under the sun. Why? Because you don't have a religion, you don't have a culture. So you're, you're a free agent to join whoever can recruit you. We, we're done with that, man. You know what I mean? Where you at? I have not sent them. I what? I have not sent them. I have what? I have not sent them. God is saying he has not sent no, none of these Christian pastors to you, man. These imams. He has not sent none of them. And the proof should be this. Our condition. If these people, if their message was from God, we wouldn't be in the condition we're in. He has not sent none of them to us, man. What verse you at? Verse 10. Save the Lord. Verse 11. Verse 11. Four. I know the thoughts that I think towards you. For what? For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. God is saying he has different thoughts for you, man. He knows what he wants for you. He knows what he wants for you, black man. And it's not this. I know the thoughts I think for you. Let me tell you, black man. Everything that's about to happen on this earth right now is because of you. you know I mean, I know we've been made so small to think that, you know, none of this happen has anything to do with us. But it has everything to do with you. That's how precious you are to God, man. God's about to burn this place down. God's about to burn the world down over you. We're going into World War III. If you're wondering, are we really going to World War III? The ISUPK under command Jan Hanna stand before you today and tell you we're going into World War III. We're going into World War III. You know what I mean? And th th God's going to destroy this place, man. And, they, and the, the earth deserves it for what they've done to us, man. You see what they're doing to these Hispanic brothers and sisters at the border? How they're destroying them. They deserve everything that's coming for them, man. Keep reading. Oh, God. Save the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. Come on, God. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Save the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. God wants thoughts of peace and not evil towards you, black man. With all this turmoil that's about to happen, Know that God wants thoughts of peace for you. He's going to give you peace. Why well, he's going to give the other nations hell, man. Don't worry about what's going to happen. Worry about what you need to do. We'll teach you what you need to do in those days. I mean, so that God doesn't turn his anger on us. But the anger that's coming is not for us, black man. Do not join them in sharing that anger, man, that the Lord has for them. The plagues the Lord has coming to us. To them. Go ahead. Come, come. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me. Then you call upon the Lord, man. Let me tell you something, man. We about to, we about to see God. You, we've been waiting for years. We've been hearing about God in the Bible. You about to see God now, man. You about to speak. What they say? You about to meet your Maker, man. You know what I mean? You're about to see what type of God you serve. And you're going to realize that that God is no joke, man. I mean, and blacks, his parents, never make Indians. You should be excited. Why? He's coming for you. He's coming to reduce, to remove you out of the captivity we've been in, in this hellhole, man. Keep reading. Oh, God. And ye shall go and pray unto me. And what? And ye shall go and pray unto me. That's what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. Now you're going to go and pray to God for the first time. You're going to go and pray to You're going to come join us and pray to God for the first time. Why? You've never prayed to God before. The gods you've been praying to, obviously they don't exist because look at our condition. We've been praying for years now. Look at our condition. The gods we've been praying to don't exist, black man. You know what I mean? For the first time, you're going to pray to God. Go ahead. Oh, God. And I 
will hearken unto you. I will what? I will hearken unto you. Now the Lord said, now he's going to roll with you, man. God's going to roll with you now. You know what I mean? He's going to, he's going to protect you now. He's going to provide for you now. Now he'll be with you. You'll see the difference. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Oh, come. 13. Go ahead. And ye shall seek me and find me when I shall search for me. And now, when the Lord, when you search for the Lord, you'll find him, man. Give me Psalm chapter 59, man. Because you have to understand the Lord is getting ready to do something marvelous for you, black man. Black woman, his black man and woman. The Lord is about to free you from this evil place, man. I mean, the Lord is about to free you from this evil place. Go ahead. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 59. Deliver me from my enemies, oh my God. Deliver us from our enemies. This is a prayer from God, from a, from a righteous man to God, man. He said what? Deliver me from my enemies. No, join me. Deliver me. No, let me join. Deliver me. Deliver me. Go ahead. From my enemies, oh my God. Go ahead. Defend me from them that rise up against me. Go ahead. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity. You know what I mean? What verse you at? Go ahead. Go, go to verse 5. Verse 5. Thou, therefore, O Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel. The God of who? Israel. The God of Israel. This is not for everybody. This is for blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Read. Awake to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful. Be what? Be not merciful. Awake to visit who? The heathen. Awake and visit. The Lord, the Lord's going to awake and visit the heathen. And we're praying that he is not merciful. You know what I mean? He is not merciful. Why? Because you was not merciful. Because you were not merciful to the poor, to the weak, to the oppressed. You, you oppressed the people and you hated them for 400 years. What do you think is coming to America? And what do you think should come to America? If God is just, and America, there's a people who have been oppressed for 400 years, what should come to America? in the book. 